So, one of my next jobs is to wire up a very basic solar system. So, what we're going to be doing, we've got two 18 volt panels that both have um, an output of about 13 amps each. So, we're going to run them in series, pump up the voltage to 36 volts. Uh, and we're going to run this solar control, this MMPT, so MPPT solar control. It can take 100 volts uh, and handle up to 20 amps. It's a Victron energy unit. These are really good, high quality amps. I've used one before in the past and it's actually been pretty sweet. It's Bluetooth as well, so it'll monitor the status of your batteries. Um, so, yeah, so basically, what we're going to do, we're just going to jerry rig something up for as a temporary solution just to keep the existing batteries running to a point where at least I can keep running the lights uh, just for a few more days until the new batteries we order arrive and then I can set something up more permanently. So all we're going to do is run some alligator clips to the bank uh, with an Anderson plug. I'm just going to run a small blade fuse in line with this. Uh, call me paranoid but no electrical fires uh, would be good at this point in time. Uh, we'll run it into the unit and then we'll run a cable from the engine room out through a couple of um, ports that I've uh, found that are run through the SCAPA um, capsize unit out onto the deck and we'll just run the panels on the deck for the time being. So at least that'll get the batteries charged, uh, keep things going, just maintain a charge and then once the new battery bank, uh, battery bank goes in, at least I can swap them over from bank to bank and uh, just keep the batteries topped up until we're back in the water and actually up and running. So we'll, uh, we'll get stuck into it, eh? Okie dokie, so we've got our <coughs> solar charge controller all wired up, uh, so we've got an Anderson plug going into the battery connection which will go into this Anderson plug which will just clip onto the terminals, uh, still yet to wire in the fuse, and this little baby will go to the PV cells, the two solar cells that we're going to have just sitting on the deck for the time being. So this will connect up to a cable that I've got running into the engine bay which I'll show you how that sort of runs now and uh, yeah so I think for now what we'll do we'll go on to the deck we'll put the solar panels in place we'll wire them in series and uh, connect them up to the other side of the cable running into the engine bay and then we'll install this so we're getting there it's pretty good it's still like 39 degrees here so I am still belting out sweat like no other all right so we've got the two panels laid out on the deck and what we're going to do we're going to use the original MC4 connectors that are on the, uh, the solar panels that came with the panels from the factory. We're not going to mess around with those. So we'll just wire these in series. So series is like positive to negative to each panel. And then positive from one panel to our adapter cable, our series cable. Uh, so the positive female MC4 connector will go from one panel and the negative of the other panel will go to the negative on this uh, series lead. We'll hook it up with our Anderson plugs. So that cable uh, will run through through the floodway and into the engine bay and we'll have a look at that once we get in there. But for now, let's uh, we'll hook all this stuff up and we'll see how we go. So all I'm trying to do here is basically verify that the panels are actually putting out uh, the voltage that they're supposed to put out. So very difficult to do this with one hand, but I'll give it a go. Negative. Oh, 
Okay, good filming. But anyway, so you can see, uh, obviously positive and negative, uh, putting out 34.3 volts, which obviously is going to be plenty to uh, charge our 24 volt system. And once we hook it up, we'll be able to see with the um, solar controller, uh, once we connect the Bluetooth app and all that, uh, to see how many amps it's putting through or not. The interesting here, these are just the, these are 300 watt eBay PV cells, flexible PV cells. Normally you sort of you have a bit of a hit and miss with eBay, but this product is just terrible. Like you've got all this delamination on the first panel, and the second panel, one of the cells is actually damaged. It'd be interesting to see if it actually still performs okay. Um, the company, or well, the people I bought this off, was Cap China. Um, you know, I said I had a defected by a damaged set cell, so they sent me another one, fair call to them. But the one they sent me is also pretty shit, so <laughs> I don't know how if I'd use these guns again. Anyway, look, we'll see how they go, they'll, they'll be fine for the job that I'm trying to do, and good to see they're pumping out some reasonable voltage. Okie dokie, guys, we're in <coughs> back with the starboard bank, so this is the only bank of the original batteries we've got left, <laughs> but it just goes to show how bloody knackered these things are. This just came off the charger probably five minutes ago. Um, obviously should be around 20, oh, generally between 24 uh, volts and 26 volts, but we're sitting down 20 and it's dropping pretty pretty erratic. So uh, it'd be interesting to see once we plug up a solar charger, if it actually makes much of a difference, it actually can pump some, uh, some life into these batteries, at least just keep the lights and everything else running in the uh, engine bay. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. So what we're going to do is start with hooking up the terminals, the jack terminals. So we will put uh, this on our positive lead, take our multimeter off. One of the first things I do is rip the J car and get rid of these little um, pokey multimeter fine and get some of, the, some of the clamp on suckers. All right. Um, Great filming. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to hook up our negative. Okay, so this should, uh, Anderson plug should be live. Now we will just bear with me. Now we have our solar charge controller. I'm just going to just leave that there and we're going to run our battery to battery. It's credit to people who do film on YouTube because you really do need three hands to do this properly. All right, so we've got our battery input, battery, yes, battery, and we are going to join these somehow. Two hands. Okay, that's connected. And now we can find our PV lead, which is what has come down. Let's just see. There's a better way. You can see this is my first day of filming, right? Anyway, hopefully I'll get better. All right. Hey, look, we got Anderson cam. Um, all right, so positive, positive, negative, negative, and we should be in. All right, so I'm going to put this on the batteries because um, we can clearly see some positive terminals. I don't want to just short anything. Anyway, there's lights on in the unit. Nothing's happening yet, but what I do know is blue is power. Oh, sorry, blue is bulk. It's going to need a lot more than bulk. Uh, yellow obviously absorption and green is flight so if it gets to green we're fully charged but I'd say that blue light's going to be on while we pump some serious amps in there it will be interesting to see how many amps is actually flying so we'll try and check that now anyway happy days so I can see the uh, engine base has got that little bit brighter so we're obviously getting some volts in which is uh, which is great all right so it's clear the panels are working because the voltage has jumped up and now it's starting to climb so MMPT's charge controller, you're doing your thing, mate. Go for gold. You've got a hard job ahead of you. Yeah, we'll see if we can resurrect these babies. And um, it's not going to change just the fact that we're going to have to replace this bank, but at least it will let us do a couple more things and try and get a reasonable voltage into them. So that's a reason. That's good. That's a happy day. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, if you want to keep up to date with live progress on the boat, just follow me on Instagram 
And if you dig what I'm doing here, it'd be great if you like the uh, vid and maybe subscribe to the channel. And I'd love to hear all your comments and get some feedback. I've got a heap of content that I'll be putting up really soon. So I'll catch you again soon, guys. Cheers.